I'm very excited to welcome you all to Design Tech Conference, the first conference on design and the Technion. And I would like to welcome Professor Yasha Grovman, uh, the Dean of the Faculty of Architecture and Town Planning. Please, Yasha. Thank you, Professor Tarazi. Dear guests, faculty members, and students, today is a very happy day for the faculty. Not every day we host an important conference in design such as the Design Tech 2019. Not every day such a distinguished group of leaders join us to discuss and present current work and thoughts about the future of design. Faculty of Architecture and Town Planning at the Technion is one of the unique departments that fuse in a synergetic manner four different tracks in terms of scale and perspective of space or the built environment. The connection between our industrial design, architecture, landscape, and planning tracks offers students and researchers a wide and unique multi-perspective over design. We try to strengthen the connection between these tracks and allow our research and students to benefit from the unprecedented infrastructure, both intellectual and physical, it offers. Moreover, we are now actively reaching out to the entire Technion in order to fuse uh, design and design thinking and education of engineers and establish innovative platforms such as Design and Innovation Hub, Makerspace, Design Centers, and others. With the new vision of our president-elect, we plan to go even further and introduce a minor in design that we believe will give a new edge to the future engineers, entrepreneurs, and scientists of our startup nation. We are here today because of a vision and leadership of one man. His motivation and energy are endless. He is a world-renowned designer and thinker. He is a pillar on which all these activities and innovation and innovate collaboration stands. Professor Tarazi is a colleague and a friend to me. I could always count on his energy and inspiration, both above water and under it. And those of you who do not have experience in scuba diving, I highly recommend to do the first step with Esri and his artificial coral reef in Elat. I believe that you will hear about this in this conference. I would like you to join me for a round of applause for his leadership and organization of this wonderful event. Thank you, Esther. I would not mention now all the other people that joined Esri to organize it, but I'm sure Esri will do. I would like to end my short introduction by sharing with you a quote from a seminal book for me. Design After Modernism by John Takara. He expressed a little early for his uh, time, as I see it, uh, one of the main issues today in design and architecture. And the quote goes, design is not a neutral tool. Design is about decisions and priorities, not equations and logic. It appropriation by marketing as a sale prefix and its recent transformation in media speaks from a process, from media speaks from a process into a commodity are attempts to depoliticize design just when its political role has become acute, acutely important. As the century expires, and this was written at the end of the last century, we are entering a new modern age, an upheaval in world politics and economy fueled by new technologies, Demo demographics, changes, and other historical forces. Only in this time, the new, the modern in design, as in everything else, 
is by no means so attractive as it was early in the century. The modern needs rehabilitation and design is being called upon to help. So you are here to help. The voice of this important conference needs to be heard loud and clear and to form a beacon to all designers all around the world showing a new direction in the triangle design, politics, and men. I am confident that you can do it. I am confident that Professor Tarazi can lead the way. Thank you. Thank you, Yasha, for the nice words. Can you switch? So I'm very excited. Thank you, Yasha, for your words. I'm very excited to welcome you all to the first design tech conference at the Technion. So what the hell is going on? If you think I have the answer, you are wrong. But toward the third decade of the 21st century, we are facing what indigenous people faced meeting Western cultures for the first time. It is happening to us. Is it happening too fast for us? Does the singularity of technology and the exponential pace, in spite of the friendly design dressed to it, take a heavy toll from our souls and break our societies? We start to see response everywhere. This year, Toshihiko Hosaka presents the colossal earthwork poster design. Voice of the Sea News, engraved into the sand in a Yoka beach in Japan, designed as a means of speaking on behalf of the sea, which suffers in silence. A poster with zero footprint. On April this year, Paula Antonelli, the chief curator of the MoMA New York, have created the bold statement in her exhibition in Milan Trainale, Broken Nature. For the first time in history, we become aware to the question of are we, as a human species, going to survive? Paula Antonelli claims, we don't have the power to stop our extinction, but we have the power to make it count. We can leave a legacy that means something. Does a rebellion to this statement is effective? 16 years old Greta Thunberg wants us to be panic. And it might be that the next generations will look at us as criminals making all this beautiful technology and design progress. So the meeting point of design and technology is transforming its promise. Design can and should dress technology with new and updated aesthetic values, like this cheese grinder from Apple. Design can and should give a poetic meaning to everyday objects, using technology, of course. And for example, can help to shape the new transition to electrical transportation. And we have the capital D, design thinking. It started to exhaust itself of the, over the last 30 years by not having evolved. So some say design won't save the world. It's a sober claim. So in my point of view, we need urgently to move fast from human-centered design, which is about me, to concepts of humane-centered design and to nature-centered design. As we face unprecedented future, we cannot adopt a defeat, a defeat approach like Paolo Antonelli had. The Italian design master, Gaetano Pesce, once told me on the beach of Tel Aviv, as designers, we don't have the option to be pessimist. 
So we need to shift quickly our minds, awareness, values, and goals. The near future calls for more creativity and breakthroughs. We cannot wait. Change will not come from our political leaders. This is quite obvious. Both countries. <laughs> So, nature-centered design. 7D is a new innovation process I created. Biomimicking processes in nature, from plow to uh, harvest, seven phases that I use, uh, both in schools, high schools, and both in uh, my laboratory. And it's also the title of an article we have published last April together with marine biologists on 3D printing of corals, aiming to restore bleaching reefs. In the last three years, I have stopped going to Milan Design Week, and instead I'm joining scientists to dive into the world of corals and biodiversity of fish. What you see here is printed corals that we are going to install. And the fish interaction with the printed models were quite promising. In this picture, you see my, my buddy, Haim Parnas, diving with this coral. But on the right side, you can see fish that find home in printed corals, even eggs, and leaving their eggs there. The fish, uh, for example, in the printed model S20, you see on the left side, got more fish account and more variety than natural structures, you see on the right side. This is what, because uh, actually corals doesn't like many kinds of, of species. They want only one. So they attract chemically only one. The huge problem of the rapid death of global coral reefs are only a tiny part of goal 14 life below water, which is part of 17 goals of sustainable de development published by the UN. There is enough room for more designers to join. We would like to gather the intelligence on the topic of design tech through the keyholes of five conference tracks, design as a hacker, as a protector, as a healer, as a visualizer, and as a leader. The response for the first Design Tech Conference was remarkable. And we hope that through the next two days, the collage of almost 40 presenters and keynote speakers will help us to get a better, higher view of what is going on. So I want to thank you all for coming. Uh, my deep thanks to the people who supported this conference in the last six months. The Firefly Scientist Foundation and Broider family, Meital Gottfried and Anna Schroeder, Limor Abbas, or the conference production, Valeria Geselev, the con conference management, you all had emails to get from her every day, Nissan Assad, conference assistant, Baruch, uh, Dalit Baruch and Irit Gertzwolf. Wait a minute. How do I go here? Sorry, I don't see the whole things, so I go higher. And of course, the program committee, Professor Barry Katz, uh, Professor Gabi Goldschmidt, Chaim Parnas, David Bachar, and Yoav Sterman. Organization committee, Ronen Idelman, Noah Matthias, Leor Arbel, Marina Herman, and Rachel Get Solomon, Alexander Gert, Avishag Shemesh, who is here, and Ofer Berman. And of course, the abstract book de uh, designer, Alexander Gert, who is uh, doing the abstract book on the way to you, and of, and of free Fort is the designer of this conference. Soon we are going to publish also the full article. And the last thanks is our speakers and, and keynote speakers who came here from all over the world. Let's go back here. Um, oh, sorry. So the first speaker I want to present, wait a minute, I need this. 
Um, before that, we invited, we invited Professor Geshe Just, who will come tomorrow from Berlin, Udeka Research Design Lab, and Professor, Professor Barry Katz, who is already here, from CCA in Stanford, US. The first speaker is Eto, Professor Kalevi Ekman. He's a professor of integrated produ product development and machine design at Alto University, Finland. It's, I think, the only university on earth that is named on a designer. He's also the director of and founder of Alto University Design Factory, an experimental an experimental co-creation platform for education, research application of product design. His research and education activity related to integrated pro product development process, conceptual design phase, prototyping, and especially interdisciplinary co-creation between engineers, designers, and business professionals. He is also a driving force behind the Design Factory Global Network that includes 24 different design uh, factories in five different continents. Please, Eto. <laughs> 